justice, temperance, wisdom, courage. Applying ancient philosophy to modern times, this is the Sunday Stoic. Whether it be Monday through Saturday or Sunday, this is the Sunday Stoic. I started this show because I started studying the philosophy of Stoicism. A philosophy started around 300 BC in Greece and then spread to Rome. Kind of went dormant for a while and and uh, has always had followings, always had, had readers, but has kind of come back in the last several years. I've always embraced the idea of a self-improvement Sunday. The world we live in is pretty chaotic. We're always swamped, we're always busy, but a lot of us can still afford a little bit of time on Sunday to improve, whether that be through inspirational messages at your local church, whether that be through watching TED Talks that inspire you, whether it be reading, whether it be taking your children for a walk in the park, but you do something to recoup and to improve yourself. Don't stop learning, and that's why I do this show. I'm learning along with you while I'm piecing together these readings and things. And this week we'll hear from Epictetus, and we're doing a single reading, a reading that uh, is a very important reading. He tells us why it's important to adopt a life philosophy. Before we get to it, remember, you can volunteer to read for the show, suggest readings, or topics, you can email me at sundaystoic at gmail.com. I got a vacation coming up, so if someone someone wants to do a whole show all on their own, I don't mind. The Sunday Stoic can be anybody. It's not just moi. It can be you. So, let me know. Record something. Shoot it my way. sundaystoic at gmail.com. I'm also on Facebook. Uh, I post episodes there and occasionally pictures and things. I'm not real active on there, but it's worth... It's worth liking. And uh, if you get a chance, leave a good review for the show on Facebook or whatever platform you listen to podcasts on. It helps other follow, other listeners to uh, find the show. The Discourses of Epictetus, Book 2, Chapter 11. What the Beginning of Philosophy Is. A Paraphrase. For the person who enters philosophy the right way, the beginning is knowing their own weaknesses. We come into this world without knowledge about right-angled triangles or the difference between a quarter and a half note in music, but we do learn each of these things. We do not assume that we know them before we've studied them. When it comes to good and evil, ugly and beautiful, proper and improper, what we should and what we should not do, everyone assumes they know the answers to these things before they've studied them. And everyone is willing to apply judgments to these things. This is right. This is wrong. This is fortunate. This is beautiful. This is unfortunate. This is ugly. Nobody waits to use these terms. But they should wait until they've properly studied them. Everybody thinks they're in the right. However, everyone disagrees with each other. Contradictions cannot be correct. Even madmen do only what they think is right. Therefore, this is not a good criterion for determining what is right. Disagreement among men and then inquiring into that disagreement is the beginning of philosophy. We need a better measure of what is right than what seems right to an individual. Do you have an Uncle Fred? You know the guy. He's like, hey, I hear you're going fishing. Make sure you uh, bring along some six-pound test line and use a green lure. And uh, you probably ought to fish about six foot deep because the water's pretty warm. Uh, blah, 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 blah. And then the next day, you're going to go work on your garden shed in your, in your backyard, you know. And uh, he's got all the construction tips in the world. However, knowing Uncle Fred, he's never really gone fishing. And I don't think he's ever built anything. But he always pretends to be an expert. Luckily, not everyone's like that. Epictetus says, normally, we don't claim to have knowledge that we don't have. We don't say, hey, I know how to read music, unless we've been trained to read music. And we know we can learn these things. 
But almost to a T, every one of us claims to know good from evil, right from wrong, without having thorough training in the subject. We hold our opinions as so precious, but a lot of times they're based on gut feelings which are based on nothing. And it's very important to to use a philosophy like Stoicism to ground yourself. You can have your religion, which gives you some ideas on how to live in the here and now, but may focus on the hereafter. Stoicism helps you to get by on your day-to-day basis. Or, if if you're not uh, a religious person, then also Stoicism uh, grounds you, helps you to find, uh, you know, find uh, um, contentment in the daily life uh, and, and beauty in the world that we live in. And so, whether you be religious or a-religious, it doesn't matter. Stoicism is a philosophy that can help to ground you and to help you be consistent. That's a very important thing to to Stoicism, and is, is being consistent. You don't want to judge something as bad today, good tomorrow, just because your opinion's different, or you had coffee yesterday, but not today. We want to be like a compass pointing north. It's not going to fluctuate. We know what's right and wrong, but we don't yet. We're still learning, we're still thinking about it, and we, we don't just do what's right or wrong because we're told. Being told what's right and wrong and just going along with it bypasses the most important thing that that you have as a human being, and that is the power of reason. You need to be able to justify why what you think is right is right and why you think something's wrong, why you think something is beautiful. But also keep in mind, as a Stoic, you don't need to much worry about applying labels to things that are out of your power. There's a painting on the wall. You don't have you don't have to apply beautiful or ugly to that painting. It's an indifferent. You didn't paint it. It's out of your power. It's there on the wall. You might think it's kind of pretty or kind of, you know, so a preferred indifferent if it is kind of pretty, but it's not going to affect your daily attitude. If someone uh shortchanges you at the Chris Krispy Kreme donut shop, uh you know, you, you you get back you get back uh one you get back one fewer nickel than you should have. Uh, well, that's a dis dispreferred indifferent, but you can't control how well the person behind the counter can count. You could come back and argue, is it worth it? Well, that's up to you and your your sense of justice. So, what do we need to learn from the reading today? Well, let's not be too quick to judge things. We are only students. We are not experts at judging right from wrong. Um, Of course, we have to make decisions on a daily basis, but they don't have to affect our emotions. So we already know that right and wrong really only has to do with your own internal judgments. If you say you are not going to eat chocolate cake and then you eat chocolate cake, well, then that's a wrong, right? But if your cousin says they're not going to eat chocolate cake, and they do, to you, that's an indifferent. That's not a wrong, right? If your cousin's trying to get all your grandma's money when she passes away, well, that sucks, but, you know, guess what? It's an indifferent. You can't control other people's greed. That You can't control how pretty a sunset is. Uh, You might enjoy it. Enjoy the good things as they come. Stoicism says to enjoy the good as it comes, But what we want to do is not allow anything that we normally would get shook up by. We don't want to allow those things to affect us very much. And going around and judging things all the time, good, bad, evil, pretty, ugly, whatever, if we constantly do that, we're not going to be happy people. I don't know anyone who's who's judgy and happy. (laughs) You know, people who whine and judge all the time are some of the most unhappy people that I'm aware of. So... Let's work on that. Let's work on not judging things unless we have a very good reason to and try to only judge the things as good and evil. Uh, Try to only focus that judgment on things that are within our power to control. All right, so email the show, sundaystoic at gmail.com. I had another show put together for today, but it didn't record right. I have a friend who teaches rhetoric. Rhetoric was one of those 
uh, skill sets that the ancients found to be very important to teach. And uh, hopefully we'll get that episode recorded sometime in the future. But until then, we'll do another episode on Epictetus this month. And we'll see you then. Carpe diem. Mm.